Hello, good morning everybody. Or actually I should say good afternoon now. Um, I just wanted to um, bring the attention of the quantum diversion of universal particle flow and portal opening and mirror link. And also how the technology right now is going into quantum computing and how they're going into the universe to Starlink and absolutely biblical um, prophecy being unfolded right now with us going out into counting the stars. It says in the Bible, Jesus wrote in Revelations, that they'll go out and start counting the stars and putting out and shaking the powers of heaven or cosmic powers. And uh, once you start thinking about what computer systems are and how they all end up going into the quantum realm which is the field a speck of faith enters the field if anybody starts studying anything other than spirituality a meditation of anything like that chakra points it's talking about going into a meditation field also we have um the possibility of them trying to terraform mars I'm not 100% certain on that, but we know that we have certain flows of energy that come into the earth, and it's all part of creation. Um, this also talks about the, the return of Jesus will be coming anyways, whenever a new heavens and a new earth will come, so that will be when Jesus' return comes, because it will be coming as the root of David and the bright morning star. The heretics, the heroes of biblical lives, to tell the truth, they were persecuted for it. And I just wanted to say that when in Argentina and Antarctica and with the bell and they had paranormal drug induced telepathic travel for information on how to build the first rocket. Okay, we didn't even have planes with freaking jet propelled engines until the Nazis invented them. There was also occult reports that they had UFOs, but I have no idea if that's any truth to that. But knowing this information right now is out here, how fast we, we came as a civilization and technology, I think it's coming from observing. Observing them and absolutely finding other kind of technology out here. And the Bible absolutely does discuss some things on aliens. Um, the possibility of the 19, what was it, the 1950s, I believe, there was a broadcast, and it was a test to see how the public would slowly interact to integration. The Motorola company was patent five days after Roswell. Um, Argentina had block buildings built with all kinds of block buildings, and we had a flood of cocaine coming out of that region like the likes we've never, ever seen. Um, right now, we have all kinds of quantum um, theories and stuff going on in the United Nations and talking about making new sapient beings. They make the cover of Life magazine, talking about they can create gods and Jesus' old news, which is garbage. And I'm telling you that his return is coming soon because the Bible tells you so, so you better believe it. And all of this is going to cause turmoil, like beyond the capacity capacity for us to see right, perceive right now. Because once these quantum computers can start code bra code breaking, if they can break a code in about six seconds or less than 0.2 seconds, the hardest code in the world to break. What do you think it can do when it gets into the world, the universe, which is God's supercomputer? They're trying to get into God's supercomputer because it's His. He created it, and it's spirit. The study of quantum physics, in my opinion, is a study of spirit, the soul, because at birth when you're born, the first race you ever won, when you go into, into hitting the egg, there's a burst of light and consciousness at that moment. It's both chemical and spiritual at the same time. Both chemical and spiritual at the same time. The particles in the quantum realm Whenever it says in the Bible, I am in the light, which spirit is able to travel in and out and through that light. 
I literally just seen so many things and I know spirit absolutely is in the light and in light. But we also have the poisoning of the entire planet of wayward drunkenness, the snare trap of addiction and how bad everything is right now with that. So I think we have a bunch of cataclysmic things coming, compounding all at once. And I believe Jesus is coming to stop us. To, or at least give us the option of stopping it. Or it will be the end of an era. Or the days for sure. Um, yeah, it also talks about that prophecy that they'll try to take your children away. Look what they did in China for the last however long. They tried taking kids away from you. They'll tell you how to make what you can do with your families. Um, that's not freedom. That's not freedom of praying. That's not freedom of worship. That's not freedom of anything. And yeah, it may be in a different country, but this is how how things happen. There's so many stories that took place over the years, biblically, supernaturally, that you wouldn't even imagine. And I know that I've been through something of a quickening. So everybody that's putting their career first or their job first over their families need to make a sacrifice for their children. You need to teach them the golden rule of love to at least be able to understand that one thing in this world that I know for sure and for certain is that no law ever stopped any of us from doing anything. We learn by observing our areas. We try to survive by any means necessary. In America, it's get rich or bad trying. A gangster image over a godly image. And I grew up in an era like this. I went to high school. Literally within the first year, we had two riots. It was all freaking drug-induced people, kids. Because of the pollution of what it was in the streets, I lost five of my peers in the first year. We, all of my friends are either dead. One of them's still out there running, ripping and running. I finally made it into recovery because Jesus Christ saved my life. And I'm sitting here with my feet up right now because I'm asking people to absolutely start gathering with me, hoping if I can get somewhere invited to come preach, tell my testimony. I would really appreciate it so I can get these two feet moving and walking and I don't have to walk alone in this world anymore, at least in the physical, because I know he who is in me is greater than all the world and everywhere I go, God is with me. So I hope everybody understands that. Um, I have a bunch of lessons, pretty cool lessons on how brain waves work and how brain waves actually, in thought, in your hearts, in your minds, everything is known. And I know the Lord is with me. And I also have some pretty cool stuff in a picture Bible talking about the Spirit of the Lord that comes down and speaks to us, walks with us, prays with us, sends us dreams at night. And all kinds of stuff. But I'm telling you right now. He is not happy with the way things are going on in this world. Neither am I. So God bless. Everyone. Um, I'm available for prayer. And I'm available for any advice. I would appreciate fellowship anywhere. Um, if I'm invited. And uh, I don't know about anybody else. But I think it would be really cool. About in this day and age. To have a Washington Pete ceremony somewhere. So uh, let me know, and God bless.